everybody, what is going on? Welcome to Regular Josh 1. Please take the time now to hit that like button in this video, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Go check out Nova Fleet 86 anywhere you find your podcast. Episode 7 will be here soon, and you certainly do not want to miss the two-part season finale. Don't forget to check out Duel Academy, and also go check out a new short film called The Purplish Family. Yes, I am in this animated short, and it would mean a lot if you guys would head on over and check it out. So, hope you guys enjoy! So recently, Netflix releases a trailer for the new animated feature, Wish Dragon, which comes out on June 11th of this year, a day after my birthday. My editor Alex actually sent me the trailer because he wanted to know what I thought of it. Now before we get into that, I had little to no knowledge of this movie. The only thing I ever got was really a picture of the film. I haven't really seen anyone talking about this movie or given it some sort of mention anywhere, so it wasn't really on my radar, like, at all. If it wasn't for my editor Alex giving me this trailer, I would have most likely never checked it out to begin with. Especially considering that the only thing I saw from the movie at the time was a picture of the dragon itself. I don't know about you, but he kind of reminds me of the dragon from Raya and the Last Dragon. I mean, they are both cute, fluffy, friendly looking dragons. I don't have a problem with this, but... Come on, we couldn't have a badass dragon for one of these movies? We couldn't have a dragon with an awesome design? These are fine, I, I do like the designs for both of them, don't get me wrong, but I would have liked to see something different, you know? At least for this one. Well, now I did get a chance to check out the trailer for the movie, and I got a little more of an understanding of what this film is about. So, here's the plot. Din, a working class college student with big dreams and small means, very interesting how that rhymes, but okay. And Long, Long, wait a minute. Long is the name of the dragon. The all powerful dragon Long. <laughs> a cynical but all powerful dragon capable of granting wishes sets off on a set off on a hilarious adventure through modern day Shanghai in pursuit of Din's long lost childhood friend, Lena. Their journey forces them to answer some of life's biggest questions, because when you can wish for anything, you have to decide what really matters. So based on the trailer alone, I did manage to get most of that. For the most part, it seems like it's about rekindling a long lost friendship. Din really misses his childhood friend and well, he wants to still be able to be in her life. Plus, seeing how rich and famous she is, it probably is making him question where he is in his life. So far, in terms of story, it's not too bad. Although, and I know I'm not the only one who thinks this, there seems to be a lot of similarities from this movie to Aladdin. You got a guy who's kind of down on his luck who finds an all-powerful being who can grant him three, count them, uno, dos, tres, three wishes, and he seemingly uses some of these wishes to impress a girl. I say impress a girl in this instance because in the trailer, you see him, I assume, wish to make it look like he is also a successful millionaire. In Aladdin, he wishes to become a prince so he can have a chance at being with Jasmine. Now, so far, Din is seemingly doing this to get his friend back, but it would not surprise me or faze me at all if he had feelings for her and they get together in the end. It's very, very typical in these kinds of stories. You also have a villain in this movie who evilly asks Din to hand over the teapot that the, the dragon was in. I would also have to assume that, like Jafar, he wants to have that power so he can be the most powerful being on the planet. The trailer, though, doesn't show him all that much. All we know is that he wants that teapot. Who knows, maybe he really wants it for his teapot collection. So yeah, there's a lot in this trailer that instantly made me think about Aladdin. I guess when you make a story that involves someone getting their three wishes, it's very easy to just go back to doing the same thing in a way. It is very interesting to see if you were to give someone three wishes, what would they do with them? Maybe that's why in this movie it does seem to pose a question. If you could wish for anything in the world, what would you wish for? What is important to you? If that's going to be the overall theme of this movie, I, I do wish we got a little bit more of that in the trailer. For what it is, it looks like this could be a fun movie, though I do fear that it's also going to be a predictable one. Again, there's just certain things that I find to be very similar to Aladdin. It's always possible that they will go in a different direction than what I'm expecting, but just from what I saw in the trailer itself, it looks like it'll be very similar in many ways. Will this be a movie I end up checking out? 
it's possible. Can't really say it really piques my interest all that much, but it's, I might still give it a watch, maybe. Who knows, I might end up coming out with a video reviewing this movie. Again, it's possible. Now, have you guys seen the trailer for Witch Dragon? Let me know what you think about this movie in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell to be notified on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, you're hearing it from a regular bunny in a regular world. See you next time. Thanks,